Hello guys, this is Prompt Engineer and today we are going to answer a burning question. How do I integrate ChatGPT with my company data? In my channel, we have seen how we integrate Langchain for various purposes, but wouldn't it be really good if we could visually understand Langchain and compile flowcharts with a visual tool? So I introduce you to Flowwise AI, which is an open source currently. It's a UI visual tool to build your customized LLM flow using Langchain. Now it has a GitHub repository. Let me take you to the GitHub repo. We are going to clone this repo, set up everything and test it out and build some UIs, cool UIs. It's actually pretty fast and you will be able to test out different strategies, test out different chains for your own purposes. For example, we have this LLM agents. Now, if you want to try it out, you can manually code it here or you can use Flowwise and create beautiful chains. You know, for example, this is an LLM chain. We can use it to put in a prompt template and an LLM model. We can ask questions in a chatbot. Q&A retrieval chain. We can do language translation. So it's pretty simple to set up. Currently it is open source and free. So let us set it up very easily and let's see the magic. So that's very easy. You can just drop in nodes, put in a calculator here and just connect the different tools available and just save it. And you can use this chat feature to ask questions and get the desired answers. You can ask questions to a document, which is what we are especially looking at in this video. So in order to set up, let's go to the GitHub repository of Flowwise and I am going to select a folder in my case where I'm going to work. So let me select this folder, Flowwise YouTube, and let me open up a new window of Visual Studio Code. Let me copy this entire path of Visual Studio Code. Let me open the folder, paste in the desired location and select the folder here. Let me run up, start up a terminal and here let me go back to the github repository and uh, click here copy the link the github repo head over to visual studio code type in git clone and paste in the repository paste enter click enter to see the cloning is done now the next step if you go back the next step is that you can start using so i'm going to use docker in this case and let me show you how to use docker so you need to download docker first so you go to this link uh, i will put in all the links that i've mentioned in this video in the description so you can go to docker.com products docker desktop download the desktop and get it installed so after installation it will look something like this here next we head over to the repo again so it says that go to the docker folder at the root of the project so we head over to the docker folder here and next we are going to create env file so here we can rename this env.example to .env and we have this port of 3000 here. Next, we type this docker-compose up d and we just change the folder to the location of the docker. So cd flow wise, and then we change it to docker cd docker. And now we paste in this docker-compose up. It's going to start up the docker. Now I have already started up, so this is uh, very fast now. But if you do it for the first time, it will uh, definitely take uh, some time, about three to four minutes. So this is the Docker. So this Docker Flowwise is running now. And next, what we can do is that we can open this. So just open it in a new tab. So we see this beautiful interface. And here you can start. And here you can start uh, trying out different uh, chains. So for example, let's go to the marketplace here. And now this Docker is running. We can just minimize it. So basically this is done after you've done everything after you have uh, done everything and using this you can bring down the docker using this docker compose stop but now we want the docker to be running so let's see the magic here we go to marketplace and then for example we go to conversation retrieval QA chain just click on this chain this is going to read in a text file here and is going to use the open AI embeddings here going to use the open AI API key pine cone for vector storage uh, vector stores and it's going to give you an output so this is exactly what i wanted so i click on use template and now we're going to save this template give it a name conversation uh conversational ai okay save this so 
now we are going to put in different uh, uh put in uh, the api keys so open ai key open ai api key we go to platform.openai.com accounts api keys then api keys click on create new secret key click on create secret key copy this go ahead to the local host and paste in the api key here so this is done we are going to use gpt3 turbo there are different other models that you can use uh, temperature let me decrease the temperature because we don't want any surprises here uh, and we're going to use the embeddings of openai and next we need the pinecone api so let me head over to pinecone here so in the indexes you need to create a new index so here you can put in uh, test and here you can put in 1536 because this is the size of the embeddings that is being used 1536 that is being used by openai and then we say create index you will get something like this here so test and test is ready so what you're going to do is that you can copy this environment uh, file here uh, the name of the environment here and uh, paste it in this location okay so let me do this let me copy this environment uh, this is the environment and uh, let me paste it here the name of the index is test so just gonna zoom it so the name of the index is test here and this is the environment and next we need the api keys so we go to api keys and here we have a default api key that should work so copy this api key head back to localhost and paste in the api keys so and we save this then we save this i think this is pretty much done so here we have the splitter text splitter you can just in 500 overlap let's say 100 and we're going to read that text file so upload the text file we're going to put in a text uh, test file here then uh, we have uh, set up the openai key openai embeddings uh, pinecone i think this is done so this is the language model that you're going to use and this is the uh, text file that we're going to use this is the way in which we would do the splitting and we are going to use the pinecone uh, vector store we're going to use open ai embeddings and basically this is done so this is how we connect the dots here save this and uh, let's try to run this uh, so using this button a chat model you can just chat in with the documents so let me first ask what is this document about so what is this document about so let's run this uh, say never what is this document about it is running it is using the OpenAI API key. The document is about the presentation of eight potential surprising claims regarding LLMs and their development based on the understanding of research. Very good. List three main points of this document. Three main points of this document. Let's wait for the result. The document discusses the use of mixed methods, okay, examines the common qualitative and quantitative techniques. Explore the potential and mixed methods. So this is how we chat with the text document. Now, there are different kinds of uh, text inputs or inputs that you can give. So you can just uh, delete this because it's a text input. And now you can use different types of document loaders. For example, you can use... Uh, PDF let me give you an example of PDF so this is a PDF loader so here what you can do is that you can put in the text splitter here and connect this document to this document and now you can upload a PDF so let me upload this PDF and let me run this again now save this and run this so what is this document about in uh, 20 words So let me show you the pdf this is the pdf this is just one page so let us uh, let us see the output the document presents eight surprising claims about large language models and encourages readers to consult the named sources okay so this is pretty interesting so this is how you can add different you know nodes so let us go through the nodes so we have agents so this is basically Langchain, but it's a visual Langchain. It's built upon an idea, test out the idea before you go on to create a full scale applications. The different uh, nodes, again, we're seeing is that we have different agents here. We have different type of chain, LLM chain. We have uh, chat models here. We have document loaders. We have embeddings. We have large language models. 
memories, prompts, retrievers, text splitters, tools, vector stores. Basically, we have so many things that are available in the Langchain uh, page itself. What I really like, as I was mentioning, is that I can test out ideas very quickly. And if I don't like the idea, we can scrap it instead of wasting time and building this complex uh, lang chain in the source in the code itself. So let us save this. Uh, one more thing you can do is that you can embed this. So you can just click on API endpoint. Here you can go to Python and you can just embed this. So you can click copy here and let me go back to Visual Studio Code. And uh, for example, let me create an app here. So for example, app.py and paste in the app.py, paste in the, uh, the API endpoints, what you have copied from this location. Then you can just start up the, just let me start up the app, app.py and exist. Give me a moment. Within the flow wise, we have app.py. Okay, it's not CD, it's, it should be python app.py so let us start okay we need to print the output here because what so we say hey how are you we say what is the document talking about in 30 words okay to so save this and start up the python app again python app.py and then you should see the output so this document discusses eight surprising claims about large language models and their implications addressing the attention and engagement they have received from various sources this is how a flowchart looks like of the flow wise let us look at another example let us go to the marketplace and uh, uh, let's try to translate for example this translator but this is open ai and system message using human input so we put in the open ai key here copy and open ai key here use the template uh, translate dot ai we can say translate ai save put in the open ai key and then you'll see your helpful assistant that translates input to output language so english to french okay so we save this and run this so let's say what is your father's name so just okay let's test it out french to english translation so let's put in the answer that we got it's french to what is the father's name pretty good so this is how you can use this translator you can again embed this in an endpoint use python and just copy this go back to the app and you can now print the output again so let's hey how are you so you just run up so we can copy this and test it out if the answer is correct hey, how are you so this is pretty good after having done everything we need to bring down the docker that we have created so the command for that is this docker dash compose space stop so we're going to go to this location, we're going to go to the docker and then you're going to say docker dot dash compose space stop. So this is stopping the docker and you can check in the container this is exited. So this is going to free up the RAM and this is how you stop the service. So I hope you like this and this is how you can read in a document of yours. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you found this interesting and uh, I will come up with interesting videos in the future. So stay tuned, stay happy and I will see you next time. This is Prompt Engineer signing off. Bye bye.